Well, about 10,000 baby boomers reach the retirement age of 65 every day in the U.S. Now, a growing number of younger Americans don't want to wait and are thinking differently about retirement. Carter Evans has tips on making your money last. Look at how windy it is. Yeah, and if Rob and Allie Marmion spent their days so traveling the world. I think it's great just to be able to eat ramen in Japan and eat spaghetti in Italy. It's like a nonstop vacation that began after their kids left home and they realized they did not save enough to retire comfortably in the U.S. Rob probably is the one that came up with the crazy idea <laughs> to sell everything. You said sell everything and you mean everything. We sold not just our home, everything that was inside of it, our cars. You can see the top. They invested the money, and now at ages 49 and 50, they live off the earnings and some occasional remote work. And what you, you know, learn growing up is you retire when you're 65 and you sit around and play golf. And it's like, it doesn't have to be like that. What does retirement mean? Ramit Sethi has hosted the Netflix show, How to Get Rich, where he teaches people to plan their finances to align with their goals, whatever they are. You have to know how much money you need to be able to survive and thrive. Okay, most of us don't know these numbers. My wife and I sat down and we did a 10 year bucket list together. There were some things, you know, like, oh, skydiving, have fun, I'll be at the bottom waiting for you. And then we found a couple of things that we really wanna do together. So we honed in on those and we said, how much is it gonna cost? When the Marmians lived near Atlanta, their monthly bills were about $8,000. But when they did the math, they discovered they could travel the world for about 4,000 a month. We're in Asia right now. You can rent a luxury apartment on the beach for about $1,200 a month. After That's taking stock of your take-home pay, mm -hmm. Sati recommends setting aside 50 to 60% for your monthly bills. 5 to 10% goes to savings, another 5 to 10% for long-term, low-cost investments, and up to 35% for guilt-free spending. Eating out, massages, vacation, whatever it is that you love, you could do it guilt-free once all your other numbers are taken care of. Your rich life should fit you like a handmade glove. And you can start that now. You don't have to wait. You could start it today after watching this. Sit down and write down what would be your dream week. That's the beginning of your rich life. Carter Evans, CBS News, Santa Monica. For one. <laughs> but